Can it be I stayed away too long? And did I leave your mind when I was gone? And it's not my fate trying to get back. But this time, let me tell you where I'm at. I wanna wanna be where you are. Oh, I wanna be where you are. Oh, I gotta gotta be where you are. Oh, leave me where you are. Oh. Please. Now let me stop. Good morning. Good afternoon. Good evening, my illustrious, illustrious, illustrious family. Welcome to the mental house. How y'all doing out there this morning? You know, um, this I just want to do this story. Um and this story is the epitome of class, in my opinion, from a woman to a man that tried to disrespect her. And um, the fact that uh, she wasn't having it, she didn't turn around and act a fool about the situation. Um. And she responded with class. And I'm I'm giving this to AOC. You know, and I want to say this to people who are emotionally just really, really charged up and always on nine and ten, mentally and physically and emotionally, that does something to your body. It shoots off too much cortisol. It makes you freaking crazy. And you're operating off a level so damn high. That um somebody can just say something to you and you're ready to just end it all for you or them. And I think for a lot of people, this coronavirus is exasperating that situation because can't nobody go outside. People are um fucking stir crazy. And um which I understand. And um so I'm just saying, watch your mental. Watch your mental. Um, people are very upset. Everybody got road rage. Uh, I won't say everybody. I mean, that's a broad brush, but y'all get what I'm saying. There's a lot of people that have um, road rage. And with this road rage, they are being, um, you know, they out there. <laughs> and they're not taking anything and just the least slightest bit of tension can send them over the edge, okay? And so I want y'all to be extremely careful when you out here in these streets, if you have to be out here for any particular reason. I try to go out as early as possible when there's no one there out and I take my dogs out and I go for a walk and try to clear my mind. And alongside the day, I'm not out in such a, you know, a busy time. But I'm saying all this to say, um, uh, um, Alexandria, Alexandria. Ocasio Cortez. Um, you know, she was called a fucking bitch the other day. You hear that snoring? Okay. Anyway. Um, she was called a fucking bitch. Well, let me just read the article. Representative Alexandria Ocasio Cortez um ex exaggerated ex ex excoriated Representative Ted Yoho on the House floor Thursday, one day after he denied calling her a fucking bitch, crazy and disgusting, on the steps of the Capitol. I walked back out there and there were reporters in front of the Capitol and in front of the reporter, Representative Yoho called me and I quote, a fucking bitch, a fucking bitch. She said, these are the words Representative Yoho levied convenient against a Congress or woman. She says, I want to be clear that Representative Yoho's comments were not deeply hurtful or piercing to me because I have worked 
a working class job. I have waited tables and I have ridden the subway. I have walked the streets in New York City. And this kind of language is not new. I have encountered words uttered by Mr. Yoho and men uttering the same words as Mr. Yoho while I was being harassed in restaurants. I have tossed men out of bars that have used the language that Mr. Yoho used. She says she was rising to speak after Yoho's Wednesday speech from the house floor in which she said he apologized for the abrupt manner of his discussion with Ocasio-Cortez, but that he would, did not say the offensive name-calling words attributed to him. And he added, if they were construed in that way, I apologize for that, for their misunderstanding. Look at the freaking gaslighting. You know, that it, you know, and I think there's nothing, like I said, that upsets me more when you're talking about this mental health thing in this mental house, that the terms I'm trying to make us all aware of because I've, you know, been in it. People gas like you. I mean, and this is what the hell this guy is sitting right in front of her, talking to her, calling her a bitch. And. He thinks she doesn't know what the hell he said. What the hell is wrong with you? You know, this is the kind of psychosis I'm saying that you deal with on an everyday basis that you have to really, really kind of guard yourself against. Like, whoa, you crazy. You know, let me, I got you. I got you. Hey, but I don't appreciate what you said and yada, 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 or whatever, however you handle the situation. Anyway. I apologize for their misunder their misunderstanding. It is true that we disagree on policies and visions for America, but that does not mean we should be disrespectful. Having been married 45 years with two daughters, I'm very cognizant of my language, Yoho said, uh, adding later that he cannot apologize for my passion or my God, my family, or my country. What the hell? Look at this. Uh, gaslighting again. Here we go. Look at this. And it seems like all of Donald Trump's Republican friends, I mean, and I hate to use these terms. That's why I hate these labels because all they do is they, they, um, they, they, um, serve the purpose to just separate you to a, up to, until oblivion, till you destroy yourself. Because take off the titles. All the Republicans that work with him and all the Democrats that work with him should be able to say, look here, um, that was bad, man. You didn't have to do her like that. That was some bullshit. That's what they should be able to say to him. But they're not saying it because, well, they are Republican and they got to stick by the Republican. You see how stupid this shit is? Because to me, it's just so crazy that I, you know, it's like, ugh. you know, I try to stay. That's why I just try to. Move a different way, you know, in terms of that type of shit. Because, see, that's just projection and gaslighting that, you know, I really don't need to have in my spirit, you know. And I'm sure she handled That's why I said I'm so proud of how she handled this, you know, because somebody else would <laughs> might have broke them off. Ocasio Cortez said, where is it that your whole remarks did not amount to an apology? And um, she said uh, he went on to make excuses for his behavior, which he absolutely did. He absolutely did. And that I could not let it go. I could not allow my nieces. I could not allow the little girls I go home to. I could not allow victims of verbal abuse. And worse, to see that. To see that excuse and to see our Congress accept it as legitimate, she said. And to accept it as an apology. And to accept silence is a form of acceptance. And I could not allow that to stand. Damn, I'm, I'm proud of you. And your words are strong and powerful. And I do not need Representative Yoho to apologize to me, she said. Clearly, he doesn't want to apologize. And that's what I mean by standing your shit. That's what you called her. You called her a fucking bitch. Stand on it. Because she ain't with your apology. She ain't with it. 
You got it? Oh, my God. Clearly, when given the opportunity, he will not. And I will not stay up late at night waiting for an apology from a man who has no remorse over calling women and using abusive language <laughs> towards women. Because I know his kind. I know his kind. That's all she was saying. She also lambasted Yoho for using women, our wives and daughters, as shields to cover their bad behavior. How many of them do that? Oh, I could never do that. I got girls. I mean, I got a mother. I got... Shut up. <laughs> Mr. Yoho mentioned that he has a wife and two daughters, she said. I am two years younger than Mr. Soho's youngest daughter. I'm somebody's daughter, too. My father, thankfully, is not alive to see how Mr. Yoho treated his daughter. My mother got to see Mr. Yoho's disrespect on the floor of this house towards me on television. And I'm here because I have to show my parents that I am their daughter and that they did not raise me to accept abuse from men. The exchange between Yoho and Ocasio Cortez was first reported by the Hill, which said that Yoho called Ocasio Cortez disgusting for suggesting unemployment and poverty were leading to a rise in crime in New York City. You are out of your freaking mind, Yoho told Ocasio Cortez, who then told him that he was rude. The Hill uh, wrote adding that the conversation was overheard by a reporter and that Yoko said, Yoho said, fucking bitch, as she walked away. In a statement to ABC News, a Yoho spokesman denied that he used a slur. He did not call Representative Ocasio-Cortez that and has been reported in the, or as has been reported in the Hill or any, um, or any other name for that matter, said the spokesman Brian Cavini, they didn't grab his ass too. Instead, he made a brief comment to himself as he walked away, summarizing what he believes her policies to be. Bullshit. That he believes that's what her policies are. Bullshit. And that's what she heard. Yoho appeared to be referring to Ocasio's remark um, this month that a crime is a problem of a diseased society which neglects its marginalized people. Asked about Ocasio Cortez comments, House Speaker Nancy Pelosi on Thursday said the incident is a manifestation of attitudes in our society today. It's a manifestation of attitudes in our society, really. I can tell you firsthand they've called me names for at least 20 years of leadership. 18 years of leadership, she said. Uh, 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 there's no limit to the disrespect or the lack of acknowledgement of the strength of women, and nothing brings more. Uh, uh, nothing is more wholesome for our government, for our politics, and for our country than the increased participation of women, and women will be treated with respect. That's, that's all you got? That's all you got, Nancy? Because uh, you could have uh, specifically spoke to the specific issue. And maybe they cut this article short. Maybe it's not what she said in its entirety. I hope not. Otherwise, I'm sick of your damn gaslighting too. All y'all. Respect, Ocasio-Cortez. Respect. 